Kellyanne Conway is the former counselor to President Trump and author of Here's the Deal. So does it get any worse than this, Kellyanne? Yes, it will get worse. We're only one and a half years into this. Jill Biden is whining. Joe Biden isn't winning. And what did we get for his latest trip abroad, Jesse? No oil, no American jobs based on the oil, tremendous embarrassment and pushback. A commander in chief who goes abroad and just, I think, embarrasses us, tramples on the fact that America is an exceptional nation, not just another one on the map, and one that could be energy independent. We don't need to go 7,500 miles from the White House to Saudi Arabia to get energy. We can go to the Permian Basin. We can go to the Gulf of Mexico. Right here, we have energy off our shores and under our feet. Let's develop it responsibly like we did in the last administration. Now look, the polls are a disaster for Biden. The media polls, all the people who pushed him to be president, their polls are really a disaster. But I think the real numbers that are hurting Joe Biden, $10 trillion lost in the stock market, the fact that about 4 million people have crossed the southern border illegally on his watch, the fact that we have fentanyl as the number one killer of 18 to 49 year olds. The list of horribles goes on and on. And the problem for Biden, Jesse, is that he has no support within the Democratic Party, but also he can't use his usual foils. He can't say but Trump. He can't say but COVID. He can't blame Fox News and the vast right, right wing conspiracy. Now, on paper, Joe Biden may be the most he may be the most experienced person ever to run for president, to be the president. The guy was vice president for eight years in the Senate for decades. Who else should have known how hard this job would be? Who else but he and his wife, who was second lady for those eight years, who else should have been prepared, more prepared about the job itself? One more thing. The reason that you see so many people like Newsom, even Kamala Harris, it was reported recently, Jesse, she reached out to donor, donors. They're that arrogant. What inconsequential, unremarkable policies from Gavin Newsom's California with over 700,000 people leaving in the last six to seven years? 128, uh, I, I just saw that they had 150,000 fentanyl pills in the last three weeks, and then the drug traffickers were released because <laughs> of the liberal. We all, know, we all know the price of gas there. We know the homelessness. Things are so bad for Biden that Gavin Newsom thinks somehow he can export that disastrous record onto the rest of the country. But I, I actually have to put Kamala up there with Newsom because apparently she's reaching out to donors as well. Right now, Jesse, the White House functions like a, an assisted living facility. It's no longer funny and it's no longer fair to us in America. We deserve a president and commander in chief who has a command of the English language, a command of his steps. He's pointing to the air looking for his chair. <laughs> when he's abroad. If you can't find your seat at the table, you don't deserve to have one. Did you just say Kamala's been reaching out to donors? Yes, I just read that report right here. Gavin Newsom and Kamala Harris reaching out to donors. CNBC.com. Wow. Tricky. That is big news. Know, and that is probably, that is Who's some real be? serious backstabbing. Right before the midterms, you're reaching out to donors while your president's overseas. Unbelievable. I'm not surprised, though. I mean, he knew what he was getting into when he picked her for VP. Remember that debate? Not a very nice yes. woman. All right, Kellyanne Conway, this thank you. This is why Amy Klobuchar, Amy Klobuchar, the one to watch. She's the antidote to all of this. All right. Mark my we'll word. She's number four on the Washington Post list. Oh, the it. power rankings. Amy is climbing. Thanks so much, Kellyanne. Thank you.